This is pretty much the best way to eat edibles, to eat weed edibles, is weed ice cream straight out of the machine in my mouth. And I'm in control of my own fate here right now. Yeah, right? you're dosing right. yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I just ate a lot of ice cream. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Whoa! Dude, that looks incredible, my god. Hey, what's up? It's Abdullah. I'm here in beautiful Sausalito, California to try some cannabis-infused ice cream. Oh my god. I'm about to meet a family that's been making ice cream here for generations and doing some amazing things with their flavors. Bon appetit. <laughs> now, their son Isaac is starting his own cannabis creamery where he's making cannabis infused ice cream flavors. So I gotta go try this stuff. I wanna see how it's made, I wanna see how it tastes, and I wanna know what it feels like about 20 minutes after you eat a whole bunch of it. So let's go eat some wheat ice cream. Yeah, so this is the uh, famous Lafferts ice cream yeah, parlor, this is it. huh? Yeah, this awesome. is it. So can we check out like some of the flavors you guys Absolutely. got Absolutely, here? Mikasa Sukasa, man. Awesome. Check let's, it all out. Let's eat some ice cream. All right. Reach let's in and, and enjoy yourself. Try uh, so, that one right there. Is this kawaii pie kawaii right here? Kawaii pie. Okay, Coffee cool. ice cream, chocolate fudge, toasted coconut, macadamia nut. Oh my god. People travel far and wide for this flavor. I traveled far and wide for this Did flavor. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> Not bad, huh? Wow, it's a little bit bitter and like chocolatey, but you know, you really get a lot of the coffee flavor coming through. That's sort of like the main event, I think. You know what I mean? It, yeah. it has like a lot of that punch there. It's not too sweet despite the way that it looks. It looks very like decadent and budget. Exactly. Green tea. Oh, perfect. I knew yeah, it. Yeah, that'll be familiar. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> so this is just straight up green tea done the lapper. Ceremonial, way. Japanese ceremonial green tea, very expensive, very awesome. high grade tea put into our ice cream. Cool. Bon appetit. <laughs> Speaking of exotic ingredients, uh, can you tell me a little bit about how you got into cannabis infused ice cream? Yeah, Isaac, how did we get in, how did you get into cannabis infused ice cream? Well, he told me a little quick story about uh, the Grateful Dead. Oh, Somebody with the band said, can you do something with putting some marijuana in it? So I thought about it, I said, yeah, we can, yeah, certainly, sure, we can do anything you want. So he brought over something and I, and I said, yes, I'll make it for you, and I made it, and I thought about a name and I decided I was gonna call it Grapefruit Sensimilla, and delivered them five tubs, and I never heard from them again. I assume they had a good time with it. I don't know what happened to it after that. And it never came up again until Isaac asked me one day, and it, I remembered the story. So Isaac, when you first heard about this Grateful Dead story from your dad, had you been experimenting with making cannabis-infused foods? Yes, I had a background as far as uh, using butters only. But the thing that I'm gonna teach you eventually at the end of the day is that butter, you'll find, doesn't mix in ice cream. So I had to reinvent myself and find a new way of an extraction with no CO2 or butane. This is really awesome. Uh, I would certainly like to see how the cannabis ice cream is made, if that's something you could possibly show you, me. We can take you to the factory. This is it. Awesome, man. All the magic happens. Look. All right, so we got to suit up. Yep. You know, the white jumpsuit. <laughs> It's not, you, you don't see that out in public enough, you know? Nah. All right, so. I think we're ready. Arturo? What's up, man? So right now you're about to make some mint chocolate chip, is that right? Yeah. Uh, can you take me through the mixture that you're about to, to put into the machine? Yeah, for sure. We got our dairy cut going Ooh. in right now. And so now he's releasing the valve. And if okay. you look in right there, you're gonna see all the dairy uh, oh, pouring right. into the machine. And then, so are you gonna put the rest of the ingredients right into the same thing and like just sort of? Oh, okay. So, oh, I see. So yeah. it's, it's almost like a, it's like you're putting detergent in like a washer or something. While something the like running. that. Yeah. Ooh. So this is uh, some of the sweet cannabis stuff. Exactly. Okie doke. So how do you infuse cannabis into your ice cream? 
Everybody always asks us that, and short answer is that it's a family trade secret. All right, so I'm not gonna get that out of you. Not, not today, All not right. anytime soon. I'm gonna keep trying. You can keep trying, you can keep <laughs> trying. How long do we go from now until weed ice cream? I would say about 22 minutes. Okay, per batch. 20 minutes to whip this thing up. So making ice cream is obviously a nuanced process. Is it even harder to make really good cannabis infused ice cream? It is because I, I'm an ice cream man that just so happens to really like cannabis, right? It was a whole new ball game for me, right? So one thing that I came to learn is not every plant has the same amount of THC on it. Mm. We're always gonna have to go to a lab, we're always gonna have to get it tested after we break off the THC from the plant to our, you know, our extract right. that we use. All right. Like you said, you're a you're an ice cream guy who loves yeah. cannabis. I'm a cannabis guy who loves ice cream. All right, I know you're dying to try some. <laughs> We've made the ice cream. The midship is ready. We're gonna take it out of the machine, pour it in this bucket, fill it into our loader that's right here. So Isaac, what does this machine do to the ice cream exactly? It uh, measures it out so that, bam, 60 milligrams. Amazing, 60 milligrams in 60 one serving. Milligrams. So can I try some of this stuff like right out of the machine? Like, can I just kneel under the spigot and? I, I don't have any problem with it. Yeah, okay, cool, man. I mean, it's your factory, so. All right. It's your ice cream factory. All right. All right, I, this, is, this. this has never been done. Oh, that was, oh, that was precision. Hit me again. All right, that's 20 milligrams, 40. <laughs> One more. And. That's 60. <laughs> so if I can figure out how to do this like by myself, I'd probably just hang out here like all day. all day, just pushing, yeah. the, pushing the metal. I'll show you how to do your own recipes uh, with just regular ingredients from your local grocery store if you want. That would be awesome, a wheat ice cream recipe from the master. That right. sounds okay. <laughs> all right, let's do it. All right. Out of the way. Got a new friend that's you. You got a new friend that's me. We can get together after school and climb that big old tree. Yeah! Right now, I think the first thing that I want to show you is how to make the extract. And it's not how I do my extract, but this is going to be something that you could do really basic at home. All right, so what's the first step? So we got our crock pot, we got our grapeseed oil. Uh, you have to bring it to a certain temperature to decarboxylate it. Decarboxylate, uh -huh. there's a word There it know. is, yep. Meaning I'm gonna cook the pot, the trimming, the nugs, at 293 to activate it to THC, which gets you high. So we're gonna use a total of three pints of grapeseed oil. So why are you using that as opposed to butter or coconut oil or something else? Well, I actually tried using butter and then I realized butter sits at a solid at room temperature. So does coconut oil. So because as you see here, this is a liquid and grapeseed oil has a high burning temperature. It's perfect for extracting the THC from the plant. And about how much cannabis? That's two ounces. If you want to do the honors, you can pour that in. So yeah, we got um, some good uh, hybrid trim that we're using today. Ooh, that looks really good. Yeah. Man, I love the smell that just sort of immediately bursts out of yeah. it when it comes into contact with that hot and oil. That's important for everybody to know is that if you're doing this in an apartment building in your house, be careful because this has a very potent smell. After a couple hours, you'll notice the trim here will start to lose some of its green. For people that wanna get technical and wanna dose it themselves, there is no getting around the fact that everything has to be lab tested to know how potent it is. We're not gonna be lab testing it and we're just gonna be crossing our fingers that it's as potent as we can get it. The ice cream is gonna hit a little faster than any other edible, so you'll get a faster result than say something that takes your body a while to digest. But yeah, you wanna um, just try a little bit at a time. When it comes to eating marijuana, you can always eat more, but there's no turning back once you have. So Isaac, we've got about three pints of grapeseed oil and about two ounces of cannabis cooking in there. How long does this need to sit for? Um, I think we should just keep it here for about four to five hours. Um, when you try it at home, I would say eight hours cool. would be better, but four hours is 
we're gonna get a lot of the THC out of it. So right now we got our decarboxylated trimming nugs. It's all been sitting in there for roughly like four hours. A lot of the THC should be activated at this point. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna strain it. Once we take out the buds, the oil is gonna still hold that quality that we absorbed off the plant. And oh, here we go, oh yeah. All right, so yeah, all that plant material has been drained yeah. of its color and of all this THC. Let's grab each corner, yeah. Bam, look at that. All right, whoa, so the oil is a bunch darker now than yeah. it was before, huh? Exactly, you're gonna put this aside. So let's use this patented method to squeeze yeah. every this last is drop This has out been of a it. trademark method. Whoa, is there anything coming? Oh. <laughs> Did that get in there? That's all right, and moving yeah. on. <laughs> Okay, We're good. Cool. That was that was totally fine. Ice cream is forgiving. That's, this is it. This is trial and error, you know. Just pouring the rest of it in. There's some nugs in there. That's all right. So we put this aside and let's start making some ice cream already. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten okay. anything all day. And you famously only eat ice cream ever. I, well, yeah, <laughs> when I do Medicaid, I try to eat my own product. They say don't get high off your own supply. I, uh, I'm kind of like Scarface, man. I yeah. just go yeah. head deep inside. You got it laid out on yeah. your desk. <laughs> exactly. Right now, we're gonna make the award-winning mint chip. So I got my mint chip cream here. So we got a, two bunches of mint leaves. Eggs, granulated sugar, milk, and heavy cream inside. I'm gonna grab my food coloring. You don't have to use it. I am. Yeah, it's getting that green all spread through there. You know what else I'm gonna do right now? What's that? I'm gonna add the cannabis. Oh, all right, let's see how that happens. Yep, we're gonna add the cannabis. So how much cannabis oil is gonna go right into there? We didn't have time to lab test it, so I don't have an exact recipe, but we're gonna just, you know, start off by one teaspoon. Better to add the cannabis at an earlier stage, so by the time it's been whirling for about 25 minutes, that's about how long it takes to make the ice cream. That gives it enough time to properly dilute through the ice cream, so every single bite is the same. Gotcha. So let's give it a little sample. Yep, all the flavors are there, but no cannabis No taste. cannabis yet, so we're gonna put two more teaspoons of our grapeseed oil extract. Wow, so dark and oh rich my God, and full of weed. Oh so good. So yeah, this is looking perfect. We added a total three teaspoons now of our cannabis extract. You give it a try. All right. If you haven't had enough ice cream already today, there's I have more. not, I demand more ice cream. Yeah, still not too much of the cannabis taste, just maybe a hint of it in there. Yeah, we're gonna make our oh, another award-winning Kona coffee ice cream. And we're gonna use Lapert's good French roast bean. Yeah. We'll start off again, one teaspoon. Whoa, really, really rich coffee flavor. Yeah. Can't taste any of the cannabis in there, I reckon. That's Lapert's expectation, and I, I who knows what did it, I say it's the French roast. I think so. I mean, it really, most of the flavor is the coffee in there. It's that Lapras coffee, man. <laughs> this is Roland, our Sensamia grapefruit sorbet that inspired the whole idea of the company, the original flavor. This is the one that everybody's calling me up every single day, all the deadheads constantly, hey, where's that Sensamia? I wanna try what they tried. This is it, we're reenacting history, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. You're gonna, whoever does this for a little home party, they're gonna be a hit. Yeah, I think so, man. I think so. And we're about to find out how that tastes. It's good. good? Yeah, that's really Let's good. Let's give it a go. <laughs> and that is perfect. That is exactly what you want. Wow, I could pour that over ice and drink it, man. It tastes incredible. Meanwhile, we got our uh, mint chip. It's almost ready. I'm gonna grab some pint containers so we can transport that in right away. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that in the freezer for a little bit, but we're not gonna eat the ice cream here. I got a little surprise for you. All right, amazing, All right. man. I can't so, wait to see. And there's gonna be ice cream and yeah. weed, obviously. Whoa, that is some boat, dude. Oh my God, it's amazing. Hello, permission to come aboard, sir. Well, permission granted, come aboard. Thanks, uh, can I bring my seasickness medicine with me? Whatever the doctor prescribed for you is welcome aboard as well. All there right, you go. let's do it. <laughs> oh, you got oh, what a beautiful day, what a beautiful day. 
beautiful day back here. Look oh at this. Oh my god. Surprise this is so two. nice. Oh, look at what you guys did. Wow. Huh? Oh, you Dude, guys, you are guys you are going to have so much right fun. Yeah. Right. Dude, we got gummy bears, yes, Oreos. Well, so go ahead. I got I got to be in charge of the boat, so I won't be I won't be eating with you guys, but oh, I'm sure my, uh, but I'm going to share. I'm going to enjoy watching you do it. Ah, there Get you a go. Little turbulent. Here, hold on for a second. Yar. Uh, I'm going to roll a joint. Okay. You do that. I'm going to show uh, get some of the desserts ready. What a treat, dude. Insane. So yeah, this is the this is a little foot donut. We're gonna make a little sandwich out of it using our Kona coffee. Very cool. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Like when you're when you're cutting that from the toes, it just had this like, <laughs> you know, it gives you this sort of like. Ooh, yeah. So is this made from a mold of like your foot from when you were like six years old? That's right. How did you know that? <laughs> they told you that? Yeah, you, Anna, your dad was talking about it earlier. Okay, so this is gonna be a, a coffee ice cream sandwich yeah. and a bear claw. And I don't see why we can't just like. Throw some gummy bears in here. It tastes like a small child's feet. <laughs> which is which is good? Oh my god. Oh, this is a very, very decadent ice cream sandwich. Ooh. A little bit more of that Kona coffee. Oh, are we doing a little fancy banana split? Yeah, yeah. And we Dude. got our sorbet. Wow, oh, look that, at the color yeah, on it looks that. Looks like it turned out pretty nicely. That came out amazing, dude. <laughs> Finally. My personal favorite, mint chip. Oh, that is Whoa. That is textbook mint chip. And that has the most weed that. in it, right? Yeah, this is the most potent of them all. Incredible. Nothing wrong with Sunday on a boat. All right. <laughs> Damn. We're gonna do the everything here. Some whipped cream. So, are you guys just gonna kill me after you feed me all this stuff and dump my body at sea? <laughs> so. Oh man, all right, so let's try to get a little bit of everything on there, some banana. So there's some of the mint chocolate chip and a piece of banana with caramelized sugar covered in chocolate fudge and a little marshmallow to top it off. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm just consuming oh, THC can, right now. I can definitely taste the difference of potency with the mint chip opposed to them. But, uh, oh. all right, let's get that grapefruit. That one tastes as grapefruit. Yeah, let's see how this came out. Wow, very tart. Not bad, and, right? Yeah, man, really good, really strong and like, right. sweet. All right, those Grateful Dead people were onto something. Okay. Yeah, so this is definitely far more elaborate than the edibles I've ever made at home, but you know, after the instructions from Isaac, I think I could actually pull it off. Oh my God. Everything came out successful. I think I'm finally tasting some of the cannabis oil. I don't know which flavor it was, it just hit me because we've got like sort of it's, a it's big that mix here. Dude. But... We, went, we went a little overboard on it. Yeah, <laughs> well, let's, might... I'm gonna focus my attention on the mint chip then because that's got the most weed. So Isaac, uh, you know, obviously you're really passionate about ice cream. We've seen that today, but when did you become so like, you know, passionate about cannabis? The more people that tell me that I'm helping them out, I mean, it makes it that much more fun knowing that we're not just making ice cream now, we're making a product that is now gonna medically benefit somebody and make them feel better. It's fucking awesome. Yeah. So I just had an incredibly packed day here in Sausalito, California. I got to go to Lappert's Ice Cream Parlor and then go to Isaac's Cannabis Creamery. And then Isaac showed me how to make cannabis ice cream at home myself. And then he brought me out on this incredible boat just tasting weed ice cream and smoking J's. So it's been a pretty awesome day. I'm gonna go spend a little bit more time with my seasickness medicine back on land. And uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna sleep pretty solid after all that weed ice cream. All right, Lappert's ice cream for life, huh? All right, dude. Cannabis creamery. <laughs> Take it easy, dudes. All right. So actually, that was a great day of eating weed uh, ice cream. Uh, it was awesome, but I'm actually lactose intolerant. So I'm gonna go home and throw up until I die, uh, unless I can smoke the rest of this jar of weed, you know, and cure that shit before it happens. So uh, on that note, this is Captain Cannabis signing off. <laughs> <laughs>